Today I'm going to show you how to upload and submit your website to Google search engine. First thing you're going to do is you're going to open up a browser and you're going to go to google.com and sign up with them and get an email account with them. Then you're going to go to let's go to google.com and type in submit your content. Okay? And you'll see what will come up will be the Google's overview on how to submit your content. You click on that link and you'll see there's a bunch of different ways here for business owners, for publishing media and public agencies, but you're going to submit your website, so you're going to click on the website owner. After you've got an account with Google, you can go to Webmaster Tools. This is where I like to go. In Webmaster Tools, you're going to see a button here that says add a site. I'm going to click on add a site. Now, I'm going to add one of my sites called hostingrealtors.com that has not been added to Google search engine yet. We're going to hit continue. Now, the best way from, that I like to do it is to click on alternate methods. There are several ways to improve Google that you own hostingrealtors.com. you got to prove to Google that you actually own the website and the content and they will um, add it to their search engine so I like to click on alternate methods and there's three different ways here to do that you can add a meta tag to your site's home page use your Google Analytics account you can also sign up with a Google Analytics account you can get an a, um, analytics on people coming to your website or you can add a DNS record to your domain configuration if you have access to your registration company where you registered your domain name. For now, I'm going to click on Add a Meta Tag to your site's homepage. Click on that. Instructions 1. Copy a meta tag below and paste it into your site's homepage. It should go in the head section before the body section. So you're going to copy this here. Right click and hit copy. Now you can see an example right here if you wanted to see an example on how to do that. And I'm going to show you exactly how to do that. This is the meta tag that we just copied, okay? And it's right below the head, between the HTML and above the body page content, okay? So let's go to Microsoft Web Expression 3, because that's what I'm using to upload the website. And let's go to Site, Recent Sites. And the site that I'm going to use is hostingrealtors.com and it'll go to the index page and double click on the home page. Now you can see right here the HTML, the header, meta tag, and the body is below. Okay, what we're going to do is we're going to take that and control V or right click and paste that meta tag right below the head right there and hit save. Now we're going to hit site publish in settings and publish back up to the server and publish into the server along with that meta tag and then what we're going to do after this publishes we're going to go to um, overwrite remote files which is fine you can see the progress right down here it's done let's minimize that now we're going to go to verify. We're going to show Google that we uploaded this meta tag to our, to our website and we're going to hit verify. Congratulations, you have successfully verified your ownership of hostingrealtors.com. Continue. Now from here, what you have is your little dash, uh, dashboard for this whole website where you can so it'll Google will show you search queries on your website. And when the when they crawl through your website, if there's any errors there, the keywords that they're looking for and stuff like that. So there's a lot you could learn about Google and the Webmaster Tools. And I highly suggest if you have a website and you want to be successful in selling anything, that you sign up with Google and um, use their Webmaster Tools. Okay, that's it. Hold this video signing out. But let me show you one other thing. We can verify. Um, in the HTML, if you go to hostingrealtors.com, right click and view page source and you can see the meta tag that I uploaded right there.
okay now you can see that it's up there that's how you view a source page and uh, you can do that just about on any website okay holding video out